Hi Gemini, welcome back to your channel. Welcome back to the channel, Gemini. It is always a blessing to have you guys here. If you are new here, I welcome you. And if you are in fact returning to the channel, I welcome you guys back with open arms. You know you're a diamond. Please continue to shine bright and beautiful like a diamond, okay? All right. Well, Gemini, this is going to be an overall read for you guys. I am going to get you an affirmation, but I'm also going to get you an angel number here as well. I'm going to tap into your situation, and then I'm going to use the tower to clarify some things, past, present, and future, and pull you some advice at the end, okay? So let's pray because the prayer is a must. Heavenly Father, as I come before you, ask for your blessings for myself and for my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share, the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praises in Jesus' name we pray. All right, amen. So, gems, just know that this reading is a general reading and not a personal one, okay? So, with that being said, it may resonate with you, and then again, it simply may not. Please take what does resonate with you and leave the absolute rest. Do not force the reads, you guys. It is not meant to be forced, okay? Now, cross watchers, you are more than welcome to be a part of these reads. The same applies. Let what never, whatever didn't resonate fly like a bird in the sky, right? Send it back to the universe, honey, because a desert come from. Now, if you guys are interested in having a personal reading with me, you can always connect with me using information that I provided for you guys. And that will be in the description of today's video to schedule an appointment for a personal reading, okay? All right, I think I covered everything then and there and then and there. All right, let's go ahead and get you an angel number here for first. And see what angel wants you to know now. All right, angels, let's get to work, please. What is the angel number here for Gemini, please? What is it that you need me to share with Gemini right now? What is the message for Gems? Okay, that was pretty quick. All right, so we have the angel number 18 here, okay? All right, I am kind-hearted. Kind I am kind-hearted. Let's say that three times. Hi, I'm kind-hearted. I am kind-hearted. I am kind-hearted. All right, angels are saying here, okay? Um, you have both open-minded and open-hearted. And your ambition is to leave this world better than you found it. Ensure that your goals are aligned with the collective needs and with the highest good of all, of all that is okay. I am kind hearted. Thank you, angels, for that. Let's get you an affirmation here as well, Gemini. I hope you guys are doing blessed and amazing and fabulous like the gems that you are. Shine bright like a diamond bow. All right, let's get into it. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides here. I feel like I need to close my door. Hold on, you guys. Let's close the door here. Let's close this door because my fur baby, honey, he be all up in here, okay? He be up in here um, trying to act a fool. All right. All right, angels, ancestors, spirit guides. What's the message here, please? What's the affirmation here for Gemini, please? Information for Gemini at this time. Thank you. All right, Gems. I'm hearing keep the door open. That is your affirmation. Keeping the door open here. And it's just saying that don't be so focused on a closed door that you don't see the ones which open for you. I'm hearing keep an open mind. Why do I feel like for some of you here, this affirmation really makes me feel like, you know, you may need to make choices here or somebody just needs to know that there's other options here. I feel like somebody may have met somebody and just said right away, this is the one. 
I feel like this is the, mm -mm, I feel like you, like my mama always told me, don't put your eggs in one basket, okay? Don't put all your eggs in one basket, honey, because when that basket falls, boo thing, your ass is grass. You'll be eggless. Okay. Now, if you want to be eggless, if you don't care about eggs, then hey, you know? But if if, if so, then you, you're going to have no damn eggs for your breakfast, boo. All right? That's what I'm just saying. Okay, I feel like somebody just might have just locked everybody out or, so, or somebody dealing with somebody who's just manipulative and just wants to take you away from friends and family. They don't want you to associate with nobody or whatever the hell's going on, okay? Uh, let's see what these messages are, gems. Tap into the energy of Gemini, please. Angels, answer shift. Spirit guides, let me have some messages here for Gemini. Tap it into their energy. What is the source of their problems here, please? Past problem, present problem, whatever it is that needs to come through, bring it through right now. All right, so I'm seeing flip messages, and I feel like these ones to come through. So I'm going to go ahead and let them through, okay? These were persi persistent to come through. Well, I'm seeing family situation here. That's been shattered. A family. Okay. All right. mm. Whatever's happening here, though, is happening. Whatever's going on here, Gems, it's, it's going. It's going, okay? Because I'm hearing somebody might have even burnt their damn bridges. Don't you burn your bridges behind you. Somebody burned their bridges. And now they burned their bridges. They want to come back and there's no more damn bridges to walk over. Because they done burnt that shit down to the ground. Okay. Um. So I'm, what I'm seeing here is a family situation that is really pouring in. Okay. This family situation is like hitting me like a ton of bricks here. Um, I feel like this could be blood ties though. It doesn't necessarily have to be a family, family like a husband and a wife or a baby, mama, baby or whatever. The status is, okay? Uh, but it's it definitely an inner circle. So this is somebody close, a close net situation here. My, my opponent is about to die. All right, let's get you this read. All right, so there's something that's been shattered here with this family structure, that's for sure. Someone feels broken. Um, or, you know, dealing with failures with the entire family structure here or just dealing with nightmare. Maybe there's a situation where someone is making the relationship or the situation worse than it really should be. Okay, I feel like there's some kind of a storm warning or whatever. Somebody is dealing with unhealed wounds. Maybe there's somebody in the family that caused problems and caused major disaster that feels like situation is not downfalling. But why am I feeling like it's time for somebody to heal you? Listen, I tell you all the time. What did I tell you guys all the time? Make sure that you got your pink Emily Assault, right? I'm not playing you guys. I, listen, that pink that pink Emily Assault, honey, is no joke. You just got to know how to use it, okay? All right, so I'm hearing bitter here, angry, and petty. Get the damn salt out, okay? All right, so Gemini... So somebody is longing for peace here because they're missing you or whatever. This person is ready to talk. This person wants a reunion with you. But for some of you, you just don't want to be in, in the bullshit. You just want to, don't want to let that person in anymore. And now that person is either um, in their feelings or in real feelings or they're broken or they're dreaming about you or whatever is going on. Somebody's tapping to your damn energy. Somebody's trying to see through you, see through your situation or whatever. Okay, but but they already burned their bridges. The bridges are burned. Don't you burn your bridges, honey? Um, and now there's a lack of trust with this person because of this loyalty, and this person definitely turned their back on you. Okay, are you about to do the same to them? Turning your damn back. This could be a feminine energy here in the reverse, a masculine energy. But this is somebody who's definitely in the divine here. Um. I feel like, you know, just, I feel like the gentleness that's trying to come true or somebody's trying to nurture something or feel this could be. I also feel like there's a new life that's coming in for some of you guys or whatever's going on here. Let's go ahead and clarify these messages out because my damn phone is telling me right now I only have 14%. 
I don't know what I'm going to get out of 40% Gemini, but I promise you I might have just do another long. I'll do another read for you guys tomorrow. All right. Um, which will be definitely longer, but let's see how far this is going to take us. Maybe this will take us a long way. Let's get into it. All right. All right. Let's get into the past here. Let's get into the present. All right, what's coming towards you and what you didn't see here. Also, with the Knight of Swords in the back of the deck, I do feel like, you know, at this point, there's definitely a feeling of, of a person who wants to talk or this person wants to argue or whatever this is. Somebody wants to take action or, you know, they but they just don't know how to communicate. All right, because they're moving too damn fast here. Okay, slow your ass down. Calm down. Ain't nobody got time for all of that. Okay, now what you didn't see, and, and you know what? Let, let me take you through what this is because I really want to explain a couple of things that I'm seeing for you guys, okay? Let me talk about your past first, okay? And then we'll get into this Ace of Cups, if my phones allow it, right? But let's get into this Ace of Cups. I want to tap into this definitely so let's talk about this first second and third this is what you didn't see coming this is your present so what i see here is this ten of swords the ten of swords and the eight the ace of pentacles along with the paint with the queen of pentacles in the reverse for some of you are dealing with some kind of a backstab here somebody's a straight up hater 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 it could be a family like i said before a friend or your person past person or future person or whatever Okay, but there's definitely a situation that you have dealt in the past, dealt with in the past that really caused a lot of pain here. You really felt very defeated by the situation. Betrayed is not even quite clear. All right, because by the end of the day, there's some kind of an ending that wants to happen here because you might have suffered a major loss with this entire damn situation. Okay, um, I feel like you you're getting out of this uh, right now. Um, you know, or you might have tried in the past here, but, you know, as far as manifesting something new, this could be, you know, you might have came across some kind of a financial, um, opportunity or, or whatever to give you some kind of a prosperity based on what you might have felt here with the Ten of Swords. Uh, maybe someone just left you, hopped and gone or what they might have cast out in their dirty ass web or net, it, it, it just bounced right off, okay? Um, with the Queen of Pentacles, this is what you might use. You, you dodge the bullet, you dodge the bullet because, um, you know, you're putting in a lot of work here, you know, trying to be committed to this family. And this family is to be nothing but a hater, all right? So now we have the devil in the present, the four, the devil in the present, in the hop right, the four of cups in the upright as well, and then we have in the reverse the four. So, for some of you guys, you're dealing with the toxicity for sure. What's this? You're dealing with toxicity for that's a damn devil. You're dealing with toxicity or something that feels like you're in bondage or this is them. Someone is dealing with some kind of an addiction here. It could be a third party addiction or whatever the hell. I'm hearing sexuality. Someone is struggling here. So there's something that's been hidden. Someone doesn't want someone to know that they've been with the same sex or whatever. All right. Um, I feel like some of you guys might suspect this or notice or felt it, but just don't want to say anything about it. But because maybe it's a lack of proof that you might have had, or some of you might have had proof, but you're just in denial about the situation. But you're over it. You don't even care what this person wants to do anymore. You're done with it. You're, you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, okay? Um, you're not accepting anything here. You're just tra tapping into meditation right now. Um, I just saw a heart pass by here. You're tapping into meditation right now, trying to be complete, trying to have some kind of a prosperity and, and moving forward into what you know is good for you. You're praying about it. You're asking your ancestors to guide you into the next step. This is what I see you doing now. Now, what's coming towards you that you didn't see is a lot of bullshit here. You have conflicts here. You have a tower moment here, major arcana, and then you have justice. Boom, boom. So justice is balancing out this uh, major arcana here, okay? Whatever the enemy had set out for their balance, Bad intentions towards you it is all for your own good you're rising from this you're you, you're getting fairness because you definitely had treat been treated unfair okay with the justice been here 
in the reverse a lot of this honesty here with these damn fake ass family members friends or your person whoever the hell this person is, but you have been treated very unfairly okay um the tower moment that will set out for you here um you know that's going to be changing this fear is changing someone is afraid of change but it's changing with the angels being here okay justice coming through to balance everything out and and all these conflicts and everything else is just whack just like crack is whack okay now we have this right here um we have the ace of cups um i do feel like there's love that is coming towards you here i feel like this love feels more compassionate this loves feel more um that is giving you some kind of a creative space here i feel like though for some of you here you're very overwhelmed with emotions um as far as this new love this would be something new you guys okay i'm hearing yes for this one all right and just clarify this ace of cups please because someone wants to give you a lot of things here this is new this someone is coming towards you that is new if you didn't get that yet it is coming okay all right clarify this please for gemini all right so gemini we have um, the page of wands, the page of wands in the reverse, and the four of wands, and the nine of swords, okay? So, I'm feeling like there's maybe some kind of a setback of some sort with this ace of, this, this ace of cups here, all right? Um, but you have to come, it, I feel like it's up to you, this is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing it's not up to anyone else. Whatever you want to, to resonate with from this ace of cups, okay? It's like you're manifesting something. It's going to be up to you. The page of wands in the reverse, you're walking away from fear because you don't want to be tapped into a direction where you're not knowing where you're going or being indecisive or not knowing to take the lead. The lead is needed in, 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 in order for you to resonate with this right here, the Ace of Cups. You're going to have to take the lead because you're going to have a major setback here. This setback is going to cause some kind of a depression with the Nine of Swords here, okay? Um... Dealing with nightmare and despair, you have to make a solid decision. Now, I really feel like this Ace of Cups, you guys, this decision is so critical right now that it pulled in, okay? It pulled in the Eight of Cups in the reverse. The Eight of Cups in the reverse and the Empress Energy. That really tells you here that something new really has to come through. You want to have to block this person because they're coming towards you with some kind of an apology here. But this is going to have to be on hold because they're stuck. In the damn mud okay somebody is stuck here okay somebody is stuck as hell let's get some energy up in this place okay okay somebody is stuck all right so they're stuck and you're you you're doing big things you, you starting over you're building yourself back up um you're moving into abundance here you're making a major decision because you're tired of feeling hopeless Okay, you're tired of feeling like you're drifting or you're walking away from um from your happiness from yourself here and dealing with anxiety and depression here. Okay, this is what I'm seeing that's happening. Tell me more. Tell me more for gems, please. What is going on? Tell me more. Okay, so we have an emperor here. Okay, so this emperor is pulling through with this ace of cups. So this is Someone who's going to love you, cherish you here. Um, you know, this person wants to be with you. They, they're not playing any games or this is you. All right. But we have the moon also here. So you have to release fear because someone is feeling fear, fear of walking away or, or whatever. Okay. My phone is about to die. I have like 5%. All right, guys, I'm going to end this here because with the moon being here, you the fear is gone. Release that fear of unhappiness and confusion, okay? I love you guys to the moon and stars. Um, Please do not hesitate to give this reading a thumbs up for me. I promise you guys I'll do a longer one for you guys tomorrow, okay? Um, I love you to the moon and stars. Pray for me as I'm praying for you. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you always find. Bye, guys.